Bonsoir. Well, today we're doing something just a little bit different, but I'm doing it in time for the holidays, no matter what you celebrate. This would be something neat to give as presents, just like the apple butter was a, a little while back. Today we're going to be making our own vanilla extract. Now, this is extremely simple, but you'll notice when we finish this recipe up, probably won't be wearing the same thing. Because even though we put it together and we put it in the cooker for 60 minutes, we then let it cool in the pot and then let it come, to temp come down to room temperature before we store it and to get its full flavor and potency it needs to sit for about a week so after that week is up i'll be coming back to bottle it up and put labels on it and get it ready to give away as gifts so let's get started you have the option of either using vodka or bourbon when you're making this particular extract. I have my vodka. I've got two 16 ounce pint jars. And now I'm gonna take another pint jar and I'm going to put my bourbon in it. And it works, so it's just going in the jar, I promise. All right, so we now have our three pints of alcohol. Like I said, you can do either one that you want. So I wanted to try two with um, in the vodka and one in the bourbon. You then take your vanilla beans. Now, when you're making extract, you do not need to use A-grade vanilla beans. For making extract, it's actually best to use the B-grade. So we've got our oh, wonderful vanilla beans here. I've got, let's see, three, Six, nine, ten. You're supposed to use um, anywhere from six to nine. So I'm going to take one and put it to the side. Then we're going to divide these up equally. Three per jar. But before we put them in the jars, we want to slice them open. Like so. So once we have sliced it open, we stick it into our jar. I'm not going to make you watch me slice the rest of these, but once I get them sliced open and get them put into the alcohol, I'll be back to show you the next step. So, be back in a minute. All right, we're back, putting in my last half. Then you seal your jars, just like you were canning. Like so. Then you take your trivet, put it into your pot, and put one cup of water into your cooker. And then so that they do not touch, you separate the three jars. You then put your lid on. You set it to pressure. I'm now going to set it for one hour 
And then the next time I see you, we'll be bottling it up. So, stay tuned. Hello, everybody. And it's time to finish up our vanilla. Just a word of advice. Uh, I started with three jars. I now have two. One of them did break. So that's always a possibility, but at least it was in the pressure cooker when it broke. Um, but I do fortunately still have one that we use the vodka for and one that we use the bourbon for. I also have purchased these real pretty blue bottles and I have made homemade labels that say Francois bourbon vanilla and Francois vodka vanilla. So I've already taken two of the bottles and put that on there and now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our vanilla into the bottle. We're going to start with this the vodka. Yes it is. The vodka one. And since we used three or so vanilla beans, I'm going to take one of the vanilla beans and stick it down in there. Let me get me a wipey. And now I'm going to take this vanilla, pouring it into a cup to make it a little bit easier on me. I have a small funnel. that I can give as a gift. Oops, gotta pour the rest back in so I can use this cup. It's not gonna cross contaminate because this is vodka, this is bourbon, both are types of alcohol, so it's not that big of a deal. And personally, oh, I love this smell. Take another vanilla bean out of this one. Stick it down in there. Wipe our fingers off. Get our funnel. And there you have it, our bourbon vanilla and our vodka vanilla. Great to give as um, Christmas gifts. You noticed I did not try it, I am at work, but hold on. That's good vanilla. Hope you try this at home yourself. Until next time, this is Francois, and remember to always dig in.